Well, very good morning on the 6th day of March uh, 2024. Yes, I'm back in Church Street in Creef. My view is uh, south southwest uh, towards Duckledge. But um, what I think, I don't want to be higgledy piggledy with all the stuff that I do. Um, but I want to try and get as much uh, of the information as possible that I'm working upon and gather what I can, when I can. I have been out and I've done stuff about the churches and uh, whatnot. Uh, there's a lot, uh, there's a lot of information in a town like uh, Creef. It's very historical. Um, and for someone who knows every nook and cranny in the town, it's, uh, for me, it's, uh, well, it's been devastating, actually, what's happened over the last uh, uh, 30 to 40 years, especially, but uh, certainly in the last 50 years. What I think I'll do is, I mentioned on a recent uh, uh, upload about the right of way that existed over here in regards to uh, reaching down to Compton Place. There's lots and lots of little alleyways, and, uh, and these were, these are all purposeful. They were the, it, to enable people to get from uh, one section of the town uh, much quicker. And as I say, they were all. Um, legal uh, passages, but um, unfortunately the council turned a blind eye to people who started to block them off and direct uh, properties upon them, uh, do extensions and, uh, as you've noted, erect uh, fences and walls across them and no nothing can be done now about it. But uh, I, I feel in some respect I was pretty much off the ball, uh, especially in regards to what happened in here in the graveyard, uh, which is on my Death of a Graveyard uh, video upload from the 4th of March. Uh, what I, I was thinking last night though was, um, just at bedtime, was uh, having worked upon the video, I started to realise, uh, I'll take you along actually, uh, and something came back into my mind about uh, the old travel chap I used to sit and chat to. So I'll, I'll take you along. Uh, I've not actually looked at that spot for about, crikey, it must be 50 years, any. Um, I may have looked at it, but I've certainly not stood at it. So I, we'll, we'll, we'll go along there. But first things first, we'll go down this hill into Quantum Place and uh, we shall uh, look at this, uh, uh, the physical evidence of the right of way, which is now blocked up. So let's do that first, Eddie. So that's the main town clock, just to show you location, yeah. looking uh, to the to the north there. But this is the uh, right way here, yeah. and um, this was a, there was no lock on the gate, there was no gate. You just walked through, up the steps, and it took you out to that uh, woman with a yellow face, her cottage. And uh, you see what I mean about... Uh, this should, this should never have been allowed. And uh, rot iron gate and all the damn stuff. And that was a, that was a shortcut to save you walking down this way and then up the, the hill. And there's, there's dozens of these everywhere. But anyway, that's just to prove a, a point from yesterday's upload. Okay, so this is the corner and here I'm talking about. There used to be a, a light elder tree down in here and uh, this has been here for a long long time this one here what is that any that's uh it's round covered in ivy anyway but anyway this is the uh this is the part in here this has been backfilled well there used to be a a little hovel area and I used to climb up onto that wall it's been repointed uh, actually but I used to climb onto this wall and sit as a, a youngster and there used to be a, a traveller chap uh, Mr Johnson his name was and he used to play the pipes outside the old Crown Hotel in Creef and um, he used to s sit here and drink uh, I don't know if it was whiskey or or uh, I don't know what he drank but he, he used to always be lying in a sort of heap and I used to chat to him, I used to sit on top of that wall and chat to this uh, wonderful chap and he used to fall asleep 
clinging onto his bagpipes. And that only came to me last night, but I do remember, it was quite vivid, uh, and I started to think about it. And there was a, as I say, there's an elder tree there that used to get shelter. And um, this has all been pointed out. But I, 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 was, I was standing here for a moment, and right away I saw somebody walking along and then cutting through this bloody graveyard as a, as a walkway with no... Uh, you know, comprehension at all that they're walking across a sacred ground. I, I find it fucking really annoying. I'm sorry, but I, I just, I think it's uh, it, it's shocking what happens. But of course, this St Michael's here was replaced with the St Michael's uh, on Strathern Terrace, uh, but the St Michael's on Strathern Terrace is now closing as well. And I'll do that separately. But let's get, have a little zip up. Uh, I want to talk about the uh, the suicides and stuff that uh, the burial patch for these people. From the, you know, I mean this goes back to the 18th century. This grave graveyard probably a bit earlier actually. So this area here at the back of the church, which has also been cleared of all the headstones, apart from uh, this one, but. Uh, I think that's been dug in as well. Yes, it's been dug in. It's not. It's, I mean, it's just ridiculous. But um, these were all the suicides. It wasn't always the case that uh, within the, the church that they they would bury the the suicides. They would not always give them a Christian burial. And in, within the church itself, the old church, there was actually burials took place uh, inside the building before the pews were. You know, there used to be no floor, it was just a earthen floor and they used to bury the people inside the church. And that is the case in that building. And somebody who died in 1862. And this looks like his proper grave site. It doesn't look like this has been moved because it's near the wall. Um, but these are all the suicides that would have been lined up here and at the back. I, I'm so, uh, I'm so annoyed about everything and this damn health and safety fencing that they're right everywhere. It's just, it's just a nonsense. It really is. Imagine putting, imagine destroying a bloody graveyard for all these people to make a little picnic area for some people to sit and look and ponder a bit. And, I mean, I, I think the, the, I'm right in saying that the, the whole purpose of uh, you know, destroying the graveyard was uh, because uh, the youngsters were coming in to uh, consume their, uh, their alcohol before they had, uh, headed towards the discotheque or something. And what did they do? Made it much more appealing to sit and drink alcohol uh, before heading to, well, I don't think they have any discotheques here now. But there we go. So. Just a sad, a sad sight, isn't it? Really sad to me. And uh, any, can't see any of my family on here. No, my family didn't come here until the late uh, 19th century. I will say one thing though, this was the the venue from a concert, uh, believe it or not, it was uh, tomorrow's the 7th of March uh, 2024, well, exactly 40 years ago tomorrow, on the 7th of March 1984, uh, myself and my chums had a concert here, a comedy event, and I couldn't believe that uh, the place was absolutely packed, you couldn't get another soul inside the building. It was a few uh, tickets, and uh, you bought the tickets, and the queues were right out onto the street. We arrived with the Jaguar, old George Gold, uh, who was a funeral director before he passed away, unfortunately. He's, uh, he uh, had a Jaguar, and he gave us a lift down to the Rosebank Hotel, and we arrived in style like VIP celebrities, and everybody was cheating us on. It was a fantastic night, it really was. Really great. But this this was not this junk hole that it is now.